Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man, and look how many people we have waiting here. Holy cow! We've got 90 people on line 12. Now, that's a problem, because we shouldn't have 90 people waiting on line 12. And the reason we have 90 people waiting on line 12 is because we obviously don't have enough trains right here. So, how much would a brand new train be? It's another. It's about 500k, and each of these is about 100k, so. 900k thereabouts. We have 300 or 400 just about right now. And before we do anything else, I am going to give this line a little boost because of the trouble it's having right now in terms of uh, just getting all of its passengers to where they need to be. It's going to start over there because that's probably the most opportune place to put it right now. And we had a little bit of a traffic jam over here, which uh, I should note is less than great. Line 12 has plenty of trains, though. I'm not sure I want to lower it too much more. The frequency, I mean. This is the only truck line that's disappointing me. Line 12 is also somehow losing money, probably because this guy is old. Well, that's very recent loss of money. Who's not getting any money? Now, you... I assume the trouble is actually stemming from trains that are riding up behind other trains. And I know they they at least make a slight attempt to keep distance. But it doesn't seem to be working that much in this case. There's probably one more train down here. Yeah. They're all clumped down here, and then they're going to clump back up there. So, frankly, due to the amount of trains, we're not going to do what I just said. I'm sorry. Instead, we're going to get a line running through Morkamb and Dartmouth. I'm going to be the Dartmouth line, of course. We're going to need a bus service in Dartmouth to get everyone to kind of come down to the station, so that's probably the first thing we ought to be doing. Is it just me, or does this place have very little industrial? Alright, so we've got five stops. Let's grab a terminal. Put it down here, because why not? Buy road vehicles. Buy a bunch of these. We, we actually need to make a line. That's something I always forget. New line. Start here. St. John's Road. I like how they went through the trouble to name all the roads. Broadway, through to Church Road, the Drive, the Drive. Wow, it's kind of a boring one, though. London Road. Okay. Set line all. Line 10. Oh. Speaking of road vehicles. Uh, let me close out some of these before the frame rate gets too, too low. And we're going to fix... Or not fix, but replace both of those. In just a second. Let's keep you guys. So that's one for. You know what? Let's just go over here and take care of this right now. Because of possible lag, I'm just going to fly there myself. Because I don't want to have to run more synchronization, synchronization cycles than I absolutely need to. And we passed it. Down here. Here we are. High road vehicles. Two road vehicles. Set line. Line seven. Now I can send you to the depot. High road vehicles. Purchase. Purchase. Set line. Line eight. And now I can send you to the depot. Got a little bit of a traffic jam over here. Maybe I should upgrade this area. Maybe, maybe not. From what I've known, upgrading the roads can lead to, you know, cars later. I say that like there's some sort of disease. What I mean is, it 
if I start upgrading roads, and I let it, especially if I let it get out of hand, which I'm not sure why that would be the case anyways, but if I were to upgrade too many roads, then the ability of people to drive from town to town would then eat into my profits. And no, I'm not really a miser, but I don't really... I don't feel the need to spend money on roads that are going to divert money away from me. It's just double up a uh, sucker punch of losing dollars. Losing dollar bills. So Port is heading northwestern. And we run through Morkham. By the way, I really love the track upgrade tool uh, that was implemented recently in my other safes. That's been great. Syn yes, random synchronization. I'm probably going to do that more often than not. I'm going to try and keep them within five minutes of each other so that if something happens and the audio file is longer than the video file, which is what happens when you lose synchronization and the video drops frames, um, then I know that I can look, you know, at pretty decent intervals of five minutes or that I don't have to look very far to find a spot where I can figure out uh, where I need to line the video and the audio up. Signals are kind of close together, huh? I mean, that's good for max capacity, but it's it can be detrimental in the long run. Stations have their own built-in signals, and we signaled this part already. What uh, platform did it assign it to? Okay, I'm okay with that. I can live with that. So I'm gonna start out with this one. Five trains. Line. Set line. That's gonna be our only train for now, because really. I'm gonna have to wait till that one gets to this end unless I wanna build a very superfluous depot for it to make any sense to add another train. Oh, there's another one. That's the one bites the dust. It's on the pink line, that's the goods, right? Sell, sell. I don't care, you're gonna be able to make it to the pink line. You know, I'm gonna let I'm gonna watch these guys walk to the pink line. Wonder how long it's gonna freaking take them to get there. They're gonna walk this way. Probably up that way and then over. They might go over the pass. No, they can't. They're gonna have to come through town. Can they? How would they do that? How are they gonna get here? Do they even know how they're gonna get here? Oh, they're gonna come down this way and cut through and then... Okay. It's not as circuitous as I thought their route would be. Which is good. Unfortunately, they're still gonna take literally years in-game to get there. At least we've got people accumulating in Dartmouth already. This has been a very awkward city to build bus lines in. Alright, so what's next? We need to continue working on our big group. You know, I guess we're just going to build that depot, because now we have all this cash and I don't feel like waiting. Just kidding, we don't have any cash. Isn't it great when I joke like that? Oh, 
Oh, I still need to get rid of this building. 1.4 million, holy cow. It's kind of crazy, don't you think? Still have this weird thing. I can't wait until they add the, they add the ability of roads to go over rails instead of only the other way. Because then I won't have to worry about boxing off cities by accident. And onwards. Nine, twelve, forty passengers. Which isn't a whole lot. Because this train just left carrying twenty nine passengers. Never mind. I mean, I suppose it sapped all the ones that were going in the proper direction. There are so many friggin' people going to Hexham, though. Like, I, I mean, I think that should get its own. I might throw Line 12 going all the way down through Krukern, Ashbourne, through Portis and Northwest, and uh, through Alnwick, and bypassing Hexham to Burnham on Sea and Highbridge. I mean, that sorta makes sense. Sorta. Oh, you know what I just realized? What if I got a train? No, I'm not gonna be able to. What am I, friggin' nuts? Contours. Unless we wanted to build another impossible railway, except this time for passengers. Crap. What the hell are you? Sink. I mean, I guess the sights would be pretty damn breathtaking. Let's find out. How much would it be to punch a tunnel through here? Because this is the level that our city's at. Of course, it doesn't want to make a curve yet, because... It doesn't have anything attached to it. Tetbury. Where would we put a station in Tetbury? Over here? Might work. We could basically put one here. We'd have to bulldoze a crap load of houses to do it. Or I could put one here. Hold on, check it out. Check this out. Hey, hey, that's that's a little bit uh what do you call it? appetizing? Let's just put that there for now. It's only 129k. What's in the way? Let's start kind of... I have delusions of grandeur right now that I'm gonna go straight through here out the other side and continue building a railway like nothing happened, but one day it's gonna occur to me that it was a terrible idea. Where am I going? I mean, I've got a curve through here, and that means I have to get rid of one to three houses that look rather nice. Maybe they're not as nice as they look. It's probably got like mold growing in the bathrooms and stuff. Choo choo! Why is my dad in Daytona? He just texted me from Daytona. Why the hell did he go back to Florida? I mean, I mean, to each his own, but really? Come on. They've gone to Daytona so many times, I haven't been able to go in years. To Florida at all, not just Daytona. Of course, I'm stuck at college, so taking me to Daytona wouldn't be feasible anyways. I'm not sure why I'm upset. And I'm not really, I just wanted to have something to talk about. See, that's something. That's something people sometimes takes a bit for people to catch on about me. There was a person on the server, on the Minecraft server, uh, some time ago, made some you know, off-handed quips about engineers. Not very nice ones, I might add. So, 
myself being at an engineering school, and of course him not innocently, not knowing this, he was just trying to joke around, I don't fault him for that. <laughs> you know, excuse me. <laughs> and then later, one of my friends came to me and was worried that I was getting really upset at this guy. It's like, no, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Uh, anyways, this is a hill. This is... I mean, I'm sure you don't need an engineer to tell you that. Where's my money? Um, but that is... The technical term for that is a big effing hill. Trust me, I learned that in school. Uh, and we're gonna have to put a thing down the big effing hill. And I don't know how feasible that's gonna be. Apparently plenty feasible, because it's just letting me do it. Okay, sure, I'll take it. I'm not upset. I ain't even mad. If we fit a station here... God, this is such a terrible idea. What am I doing? Seriously. I should be worried about punching through the other side. That's going to be the more expensive part. I was just worried if I could. I, n I never stopped to think if I should. What is that even from? I don't know. I don't know what that's from. It's from something. This is a long, effing tunnel. And it's dead straight, too. Look at that. It's $1.58 million for a tunnel. And I want the more expensive one. What's wrong with me? I could totally provide service over the mountain pass anyways, and just kind of punch a tunnel through there, and slowly come down and meet here. Where's the sense in that if we can have a million dollar tunnel? Where's the sense in it though if I don't try it? It's gonna be an interesting project. Question is though, have I only had one thing that I've called the impossible railway on this map so far? Oh, freak. This is an interesting, interesting task. A 250k tunnel. Fan tunnels are so expensive. Why am I even doing this? I've almost made it all the way up though, I'm kind of impressed. And the difficulty sure as hell isn't going to be getting down the other side. Or at the very least, it can't be much worse. Come on, you. Give me some dope. Give me some dope. This is going to have to be one track. I mean, cutting these... Making these cuts and these tunnels twice? No, not going to happen. We're going to have to be running like one train. And that's all it's going to be. So, I mean, really, I'm doing this to prove that I can. And that's kind of stupid. Do we have anywhere to get goods over here? No, we don't. We could run iron ore over it to make it sort of seem worthwhile. Or run wood over it. Do we have a wood delivery place? No. We have a wood supply place, which is just as stupid. Won't help us at all. Do we have a traffic jam? Is that why I'm losing money? That's what I'm always worried about. I lost so much money due to a stupid freaking traffic jam.
No, I'm just losing money due to bad spacing in some cases. Let's check in our lines. Just losing money. 401... 4.01k. That's losing money. That's what's losing freaking money. A brand new line. Nobody's caught on to the fact that you can ride the train. Nobody in more camp. It's because we haven't demolished that building. Now we'll get some more people coming in. Everyone wants to ride the train. Don't even lie to me. Query, have you picked up anyone? Zero. No. The answer is no. What is your frequency? 11 minutes. That could be better, admittedly. But it's not atrocious. You just haven't got people onto the train. Which shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> can I squeeze a rodent here? Oh, please tell me I can. That would be beautiful. No. What are you colliding with, anyways? Oh, you've got to edit the terrain there to... Okay, okay. I still need to get rid of this building, then. See, now I've got a couple million dollar projects. One of them is the friggin' tunnel. The other one, I'm just gonna work on this. For now. Oh, I missed. watch somebody get money. I don't have any trains over here. This is just freaking disappointing. At least this place is growing pretty steadily. Unfortunately, we've got passengers waiting on the platform, but not in the direction that a train is coming. Oh wait, here's a train. Come on, get back over there. We have... No, we don't. We had enough money a second ago. Oh wait, we do. Oh, there's another little lag spike. Sink. Okay, where are you? You're heading towards Filey. That's what I said I'd call it, right? It isn't 1900 yet, and I'm actually, I don't care about that achievement. So, I can toss out any trains that hit their limit. Oh, getting some lag more. Some more lag. Is this hip? It doesn't highlight the same. No, it's not the same one. Um, are you over here? Yeah, you are. Unfortunately, it's not like locomotion where it'll light up the uh, engine no matter what. You're, you've reached your expiration date, but is this line still making a profit? Is, is the real question. Yes. And that's really all that matters right now. I can keep around old engines for as long as they'll exist. Which is forever, for the record. But until a line... When a line goes into the negative, that's when I have the incentive to remove them. Of course. When the line in question is brand frickin' new. So nobody understands how to take the train yet. God, we spent so much in construction costs.
Dartmouth seems to be existing just fine, which is great. Just want to get rid of that building, man. That'll make things so much easier. The pedestrians won't have to walk around the side here to get to the station. They can just go through here. Wait, if that's that expensive, how expensive is this freaking building? Wait, what? How is that less expensive? I swear. 450, 100. Oh, gee. Sink. Sink. I want to get rid of that one now. That looks simple. I could kill one of these. I could kill that one and string a road straight there. Of course, it would mean that people would still have to walk around the edge, and it wouldn't make any sense, really. But it could be done! There we go! We completed this route that would otherwise be funded, filled by a million and a half dollar tunnel. That would make things so much easier, and pretty much dead flat and straight. That's our future project. Even this thing is our friggin' future project, man. We're not touching that for a while. We've got other things to worry about. We could ship oil over it. Uh, didn't we have... No, we did not. Damn it. We can't ship anything over this friggin' pass. Uh, we can do iron ore, we can do lumber, stupid amount of lumber. Uh, I mean, we've got this here, but have we, we've got iron ore closer than that. We've got iron ore closer to this than the iron ore we're currently using. I mean, we, we're really just making excuses to use it at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to delete the line, sure as hell, but... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why I built it. Still don't have the money. You can obviously tell from that readout back there which one of these lines is the more popular. Oh, ooh, almost got it. Almost an oh. Never mind, there goes everything. All I want to do is get rid of this building. This one right here. Um. I mean, frankly, I could have strung that around here. The reason I wanted to do Tedbury like this, instead of, well, what I could have done, which was break it off Ashburn, uh, is to give the terminal at Portishead and Northwest and another track occupied, really. I mean, even then, I could spread this and send it this way, although I wouldn't want to, considering how that would affect commerce. Hold on a minute. I want to cut and pick a minute. Please, somebody give me money, right now. Come on, I'm waiting. I just need... Alright, we've got until what, the end of the month? Before... bad things happen? And we lose all our cash? Yes! Yes! Yes, we can get rid of the one we wanted to get rid of, although I really don't see why that'd be an improvement. Let's just get rid of the cheap one. Boom, done. <laughs> Navigating more cam has just become simpler. What are you doing here? You used to have a purpose. I mean, what I could do right now to make to sort of alleviate things. No, that wouldn't make any sense. I mean, the travel time just from this junction to 
toward his head, and Northwestern is kind of absurd. And there goes all our money. Thankfully we got to spend some of it. Thankfully the system is so lively that it's still making a profit even with the trains getting all bunched up. Very happy with this. You guys will catch on eventually. You know, we need to continue using our massive profits to uh, expand our system here in lieu of having the trains to put on it. Speaking of massive profits, we don't have any money again. Way to start bragging, dude. Okay. Okay. We need a station here. At least three tracks. Potentially four. It's, gonna, it's looking like three is what's going to do it, but four. No, four gives us that extra platform. Therefore, isn't very helpful. Point of fact is we're going to have this guy coming in like this. Oh, come on, let me cross. We don't need to cross yet, actually. Just head on down. What is this trying to do? Oh my god! No, that's, that's just like inhumane. This is when the, uh, the grade starts, the big epic hill that I was talking about. It's kind of why I wanted to get over to the other side before. But I don't suppose that's really an option now, is it? I mean, really, I want to just aim to sort of slide by this here. Oh, I missed. We're just going to have to get rid of this road. I'm not really remorseful about it. Alright, so what we've got to do is finish running this track this way. Keep clear of the road so that we don't accidentally uh, cause a problem with it. This is nice straight track. And let's save money by not ignoring the contours of the land. And I guess building a viaduct. Because that saves money. Hm. So much for saving money. Uh, three track station. That's four. Three track station coming right up. Need to fit it here, therefore, first thing that needs to go is that stretch of road. We've got 400k left. Can't destroy any of the buildings that we need to destroy. Can we just convince the owners to leave? Begging and, like, favors? You get where I'm coming from? We've still got time to redeem ourselves in terms of getting cash money.
I'm, I'm just happy with this very convenient place of road. I really shouldn't be as happy as I am about it. But we're going to try and enter town here and come out the other side, which right here might be problematic, but we've dealt with situations before. And our rail empire isn't going to uh, appear without a little help. And there goes all our money again. Son of a gun. Cooper. What do we have, 170k? Come on, people, walk faster. Trains move faster. Stupid wagons that probably still haven't made it to your destinations. Hurry up. You guys know which ones I'm talking about. Sink. Sink. Ah, broke. Still need to check in the lines every time. I know what's causing it. I mean, there's really no question there that the brand new line is, uh, less than profitable. Very less than profitable. getting passengers for it, which is a good sign of a good sort of start. Burford, though, is going to become a junction, and that means it has to kind of agree with what I want to do with it. Also, it means that I've got to put a piece of track here before they do something that gets me upset. And then finish this. Whoa. It's freaking auto save. Talk about up and down hills because, geez, are we going up and down hills? Also, we're not even lined up at the station. Or where the station is supposed to end up. Let's just point that that way. Oh, we have 700k. Pause. I need an emergency pause button because you use it or you lose it in this game. Then you have to wait for it to come back. Stupid long amounts of time. People complaining about the game. There's so many people on the forums. Okay, this is a little mini rant. Uh, so many people on the forums complaining about how the... Oh, I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. Uh, we can't do that because the road's not going to be the way, but... Or the road is going to be the way. But, anyways, there are people complaining that the game time moves too fast. My my answer to them is, did you guys ever friggin' play Locomotion? Because, come on. This is... This is... I mean, I mean, it's still not slow, that's for damn sure. But, uh, I feel like, I mean, I may be looking at it with some funny colored goggles on, but I feel like this game is just kind of slow and moderately paced compared to Locomotion. I mean, to be completely honest, I think they're about the same speed. They're about one day per second, which, based on experience, I suppose, seems pretty decent for this game or for these kinds of games. Why can't I do that? Like, seriously, what's wrong with it? Let's get some more treks out here. This game is weird. This game has issues with sometimes building tracks. I can't put that there because that's not the correct... Wait a minute, is it? Hold on. Hold on. That is the correct track. Okay, uh, okay, out the other side, that's the next problem. 
Will it let me? It will. That's the best part. That's the, by far, the thing that makes me happiest about the current situation is that it will let me. Uh, 9.7k. That's why I don't have any money. I thought I had more. Now I have 600k. That That's something I can deal with. Now I have less than that. No, I don't. I have 667k. I feel like my money is just jumping all over the place. Don't go away yet. January 30th? No. I was about to not be able to afford anything. I'm sorry all you friggin' houses that are gonna have to die for progress. I don't have enough money to do it yet, but let's start punching track. Of course, it won't let me. In the name of progress, you guys are all friggin' bone. That's one, two, three, four, five, six houses. All about 100k each. This one's almost 200k. Call it, you know, 700 or 800k for all those houses demolished. Or I can make them an offer they can't refuse. You know what we need to do, actually, before I go and do anything stupid like building this Y, I need to put the parallel track in so that it all makes sense. Nice long cross over here. Right, so we're gonna have this line, you know, doing its crazy thing, or it's gonna break off right here this is probably going to be where the tunnel entrance is that will drop us out right around here. Let me actually preview that by firstly putting the other track here so I know what I'm dealing with. Uh, pouring on the crossover. Once again, so I know what I'm dealing with. Brazenly stating that I can totally do this if I want to, and then putting a tunnel in and then realizing that it wants me to do something incredibly stupid. Whoa, what is it telling me to do? Oh my god, this thing has given up, given up on making pillars. Uh, I sense an issue. sense an impending issue with our ability to con to build tracks where I want them to go. Except for this. This I like. Why? Because it's gradual, it's a downgrade, gets us pretty much where we need to be, and it's only 1.3 million dollars as opposed to the original 1.6. That's going to be our high-speed car corridor when we eventually shut down this other one. And that's probably going to be it for the day. We've, we've done a lot of pipe dreaming over here. And that's just about all we're going to be doing until we get locomotives fast enough to take advantage of those pipe dreams, because the distances between these cities are kind of... What's the word? Insurmountable for our current motive power in that 20 minute limit. Don't ever think I'm, you know, upset at the 20 minute limit. It's an understandable gameplay mechanic, it's just not realistic. Nor, nor is it, I don't think it's like anything else I've seen, which is cool because it's unique, but anyways, I digress, I can rant about stuff later. I, you've already heard enough of that today, and Hexum is huge.
Alnwick is even bigger. I have been not paying attention to these towns if they just grow exponentially. Hopefully, these three towns that we're dumping money into get that way eventually. So, one more sink, sink, although I don't think it's really necessary. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you a lot next week. Train Matt out.